Welcome back to another Unbiased Magic Review where I am bringing you unfiltered, honest, and unbiased reviews of magic that I personally buy. Nobody sends me this stuff. I don't mind spending my money on this stuff and at least giving you guys some honest feedback so you can make your own educated decision whether or not you want to buy this stuff. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you Black Door by Ricardo Berdini. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get all of my magic reviews. Um, and so you're probably wondering what is Black Door? If you're watching this, I'm sure you already know what it is, but let's take a look at the trailer. Right, I got two envelopes right okay. here. One is a $100 bill, the other one is not. Okay. I don't want you to think that I'm influencing your choice in any way. But if you choose the envelope with a $100 bill, you can keep the $100 bill. Okay. So, what's your choice? This one? You yeah. sure you want to change your mind? No. Can I be more fair? No, <laughs> I want this one. Take it. Take it. And open <laughs> what is it. What is written? You don't win a hundred dollars, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and because it looks like the hundred dollars bill is here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're going like this. <laughs> My name is Ricardo Verdini, and I'm proud to introduce you Black Door, a revolutionary switch device that you can carry with you all the time and fits in your pocket. Black Door allows you to force whatever you want in the cleanest way possible. Hands off. You put a bill, a card, a piece of paper inside the envelope and you handle it to the spectator. The switch is done. I put the blank card here yeah. and I ask you to keep the blank card with the envelope in your hand, like this. Look at one card, not the first one, just one card in the back, not this one. Are you ready? One, two. You have one card in yeah, your yeah, mind? Yeah, yeah, you have one card. Yeah. You can make the blank card become the two of arts right now. Do you believe, my friend? Damn! <laughs> you can now perform all of your favorite effects without any effort, like never before. Bank night, add a number, bill switch, serial numbers divination, card force, 50-50 prediction, Q&A, mind reading. Black Door opens possibilities we've never had before. It is the tool magicians and mentalists have always dreamed about. I am Ricardo Berdini, and this is Black Door. Okay guys, so that is Black Door, and as you can see, it is a utility device, and you can get this from Penguin Magic for 40 bucks. You're probably wondering, is this worth my 40 bucks? That's why you're watching this, that's what you wanna know. And by the end of this video, if you watch it through, you're gonna have a very good idea whether or not you should spend your 40 bucks on this. And if you do pay careful attention, by the end of the video, I'm even gonna give you some other alternatives that you may wanna invest in instead. Okay, I'm just looking out for you, that's all. So what do you get for your 40 bucks? That's what you're probably wondering. So this is what they're gonna send you. They're gonna send you this, which is a nice little carrying case. And in it, you're gonna get two gimmicks. That's right, you're gonna get two gimmicks. And let me just show you what the inside is. There's, like a, there's a link here to like a, a video, so I'm just covering that up. But this is what it looks like. And it's kind of a nice carrying case, so that way you can carry your two gimmicks, so that way they don't get damaged, okay? So the next question you probably have is, um, how well are these gimmicks made? They're made very well, and they're supposedly handmade, according to Berdini. Um, and um, they probably will last you quite a while as long as you take good care of them, keep them in here and transport them there. Um, they're made out of like a heavy type card stock and they function well. I've had this for about a week now and I've already had a couple of performances myself. I've already experimented with them, uh, with people that I interact with and I've only gotten positive reactions so far. They work well for what they are. It's a good utility device. Um, and um, the next question you probably have is, how easy is it to use this? And I'm gonna tell you, it's not that difficult. There's a little knack to it, um, to open it, and that's because of the principle that's being used. But other than that, it really isn't difficult to use. But I will tell you that, you know, there, it, it is a little knacky. So in my own performances, I had a moment of one of the performances where I had to take a second to readjust just because it wouldn't open up the right way. And that's the only thing that you may wanna be concerned about because you definitely don't wanna be fumbling with it. I mean, Essentially, the real appeal to this is it needs to it needs to look like it's totally hands off. It needs to look like all you're doing is this, this, and you're dumping something out, you know, showing that it's empty. That's really what it is, is that you don't want to be 
fiddling around with the with the gimmick too much because otherwise that that just doesn't look good if you're sitting there fumbling around with it you know so will this pass by spectators in terms of will they notice anything they're not going to notice anything okay so it's pretty examinable overall and the real appeal to this utility device is that you know you can let the spectator open it and take out the contents themselves which that's the real appeal to it okay so um now let's go over the advertising, okay? So how honest is the advertising, you know, the Penguin advertising of this product? I'm gonna tell you, it's very misleading, unfortunately, and it is dishonest, and I'm gonna tell you why. Here's the reason why. In that trailer, you see um, that he puts a card inside and then they open it up a second later, and then it changes, right? And, and that is possible to use it in that way, but. What they're not showing you is that there is a very small get ready that they're not showing you. And, and maybe that's just because they just, you know, they don't want to. You know, it's very, it's very convenient how that part was left out of the trailer. Um, it's not like it's a big deal, but I'm just telling you because when you get it, you're going to say, oh, oh, actually, I didn't realize this. You know, it's not as simple as it looks because it is not as simple. You know, you do have to kind of pay attention to what you're doing. Um, I'm going to tell you, you cannot open this and not look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So that's kind of, for me, a little bit of a negative. Okay. So what else about the advertisement that's dishonest or misleading? So there's a bunch of routines that are taught on the instructional video. You cannot perform all those routines with the instructions and with what you're given. You cannot. There are various routines on there that you will not be able to perform, unfortunately. So that's dishonest. Shame on you, Penguin Magic and Ricardo Berdini. Okay, so let's go over the teaching, okay? So here's what you're gonna get on the teaching. The first routine, which is probably the routine everybody will rush to perform, and it was the first one that I performed too, is the 50-50 prediction, and that's what you saw in the trailer, and it works great for that. And that's probably the big appeal of this utility device is to be able to use it for that routine. And that's probably the main routine you're just gonna use this for, okay? Then the other, the other routine on here that I really liked was there was a, a serial bill divination effect where a spectator, they take out their bill and they put it inside the envelope and then you divine, you, meant, you, know, you let them hold it, you mentally divine you know, the serial number and then they take out the bill and it matches or whatnot, you know? So I think that that, it's very well motivated. I mean, that's a really nice uh, routine. I think that that's something I definitely will use. Um, other than that, I'm gonna tell you though, the rest of the routines on here, I don't think that, that I would ever use them myself. And it is kind of interesting because, um, you know, I'm gonna get back to it, but they could have come up with much better ideas. You know, I've only had this for a week and I've already come up with ideas that I'm surprised they haven't thought of. Um, so on there, he goes over two versions of bank night, and unfortunately, you can't perform either of them because in those two versions, you need to have four or more envelopes. Guess what? You're only given two. So with two envelopes, you cannot perform the bank night effects that are uh, taught on there. So that's a total waste. So just nix that idea. You're not going to be able to perform the bank night effects that are on there unless you buy some more gimmicks. So unfortunately, you know, that's really disappointing. For me, that was really disappointing because then it's like, well, what's the point of even putting that on there? Um, he then goes over, you know, a couple of other ideas, other, um, you know, they're not really full routines, but they're ideas of how to use these, which again, you have to wonder, would anybody really do that? Like, I'll give you an example. He goes over how to force a card. Why would you take a card out of a spread and put it in the envelope only to later take it back out of the envelope? You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. There's no motivation for taking a card out of a spread and putting it in an envelope. Why would you do that? What's the, what's the purpose of the envelope? It just seems like he is trying to find ways to use the envelope. He's like stretching, you know, he's like reaching because he doesn't have any other good ideas. Um, his idea of using the envelope to transform one object into another, I don't know if that's really a good way to use this utility device because I'll give you an example. He goes over a torn and restored card idea why would you put a pieces of a torn card in here and then a moment later take out the card restored? People aren't stupid. They're gonna realize, well, there was a switch involved there. The pieces are probably still inside there, you know? They may not see them, but I mean, it does look magical, but you're not gonna use that. It's definitely not something you're gonna use. Um, he does go over, you know, 
so, uh, Q&A idea, um, which maybe some people might use. Um, it does make sense that you would take a billet and put it in here to isolate it. That does make sense. Somebody might use that idea. There's uh, the other big fail on the teaching is he goes over Brandon Queen's lacuna effect. I'm going to tell you here he tried to reinvent the wheel, unfortunately. So the lacuna effect uh, by Brandon Queen, if you are familiar with it, it does not use an envelope. It just uses business cards and it uses some clever ideas of Brandon. And so you don't need at all the envelope. And so he really is reaching on that one. I mean, he's really tried to reinvent the wheel. Um, and unfortunately, you cannot perform the lacuna effect with his teaching and what you're given. And the main reason is because during his teaching, he's like, oh yeah, well, you need, you need an impression device. I mean, suddenly he just throws that out there. Oh, you need an impression device. Like, where'd that come from? And it's funny because, yeah, because in the lacuna effect, there's a part there that you need to know some information. And if you watch the, you know, if you have the original effect and you know how it's done, it all makes sense to you. But this guy's teaching is terrible. Even how he tries to teach the lacuna effect, it's totally convoluted. And it has nothing to do with that he's Italian and he's got a thick accent and all that stuff. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the simple fact that he's trying to teach somebody else's routine with this envelope to try to get it to fit with the envelope. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It doesn't. The original lacuna effect is already elegant and works perfectly the way it is. You don't need to mess with it. You don't need to try to get it to work with this. That's just foolishness. And it's just unfortunate that he goes that route because again, it's another routine you're, you're not going to use at all. It's just a total waste. So that was unfortunate. And then finally, the bonus routine that is taught on the video, which is the very end of the trailer that you saw, again, another unfortunate fail. And I'm going to tell you why. Because here's why. In the trailer, you could see that he takes a blank, that he takes a blank card and he puts it in the envelope. And then, you know, the person sees it, they, they see a card and then the card that they're, you know, the selection that they're thinking of, it becomes that in the envelope, right? I mean, that, that's a nice idea, but let's be realistic. Like, because I, I do a lot of card magic, right? Let's just be realistic. Like, why would you use an envelope? Like, why not just show a blank face card, switch the card as you put it in their hand, and then have them peek a card, and then have them concentrate on the card, and then the card in their hand transforms into it. That, that's the most logical way to do it. Why would you need to have an envelope? There's no motivation for it. It's ridiculous. And again, it's like trying to reinvent the wheel. It's like, I don't have any good ideas so quickly. What can I come up with? And I think that part of the problem is, is that this guy, Ricardo Bergini, he's probably not a very experienced magician. And I think that even, I blame Penguin Magic because Penguin Magic has a lot of experienced magicians. They should have really looked at this product carefully before they just produced this and just threw it out there. I mean, it just feels to me that this is half-baked. I mean, let's be realistic, okay? Look, I'm being realistic with you, right? When I got this, right, do you know what the first thing I thought of was? I opened this up, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, this looks like a coin envelope. And then I'm like looking on the video for what kind of routines come with this that have to do with coins, mental routines with coins, because these are coin, it's a coin envelope, right? Guess what? There's none. I'm like, really? Like, this is the first thing I thought of, right? The funny thing is I've had it for a week. I've come up with all kinds of ideas of how you could use this utility device. And it's funny because when you watch the instruction, Burdini's like, oh, if you have any ideas of how to use this, send me a message on Facebook. Yeah, because you can't come up with any decent ideas yourself, buddy. I mean, that's sad, isn't it? It really is. It's weak. It's very weak. For 40 bucks, look what you're doing. For 40 bucks, you're getting a couple of paper gimmicks, which... This is, this is, they're nice, right? They're great, but are they gonna last long? Probably not. You're gonna get a stru instructional DVD or instructional video, which is horrible. The teaching is terrible. The only good part of the teaching is how to use the gimmick. That's the only good part of it. That's the only thing that has any value is how to use the gimmick. The rest of it is terrible overall. I mean, as a whole, I would say it's a total waste. Um, and so the question is then becomes this is that, is this worth your 40 bucks? And I'm gonna tell you right now, no, it's not, okay? I'm gonna give you a much better alternative to this, okay? So let's say that you like the idea of this, you like the idea of that 50-50 prediction, 
but you want to invest your money in something that's going to last and something that's more, I'm going to use the word reliable. Okay. So here's my alternative for you guys. Okay. So here it is. It is the quiver wallet. If you know what the quiver wallet is, then you realize this is another switching device and it has the same exact appeal that this has, which is that it can be handled by a spectator. Okay. So I'm not here to sell this, but I'm just giving you an idea. Okay. Because the reality is this, is that you could take an item, like for instance, I could take this coin and I could, I could show this empty and I could put it in there and then I could let somebody else open it and they'll dump out. Oh, wow. They dumped out a bunch of other different coins because why is that? Because that's how this works. It's, it's another type of switching device. Okay. So the big advantage to this is one, it's not going to wear out and two, you don't even need to look at it when you open it, which is really nice because I can open this and get to, you know, I can open it without looking at it, you know, either way. I can open it without looking at it, which is good because I'm going to tell you this, you cannot do that. You have to be looking at it and paying attention when you open it, you know. So that's what I'm trying to say is that that the Quiver Wallet is easier to use. It's more hands off. And it's going to last a lot longer and you can hand it out to the spectator and you could let them open it. You know, the spectator can open it because they're not going to understand, you know, the secret behind it. It's the same way they don't understand the secret behind this. But the reality is this is that what's the difference probably in cost is that a couple of these will probably cost you twice as much as this product, but it's going to last you a lot longer. And now... Uh, this is the original Quiver, but they make the Quiver Plus, which is a little bit bigger, so you can put bigger objects in it. And they probably did that because people wanted to put things like folded card in it or whatever else, you know. So overall, my final, uh, my final analysis of this product is this, is that it's a very clever utility gimmick, but it's not something that I think is worth 40 bucks. And it's really disappointing that one, they didn't give you more gimmicks or at least they didn't give you materials to make your own if you wanted to. That would have been another good thing is if they at least gave you some materials so that way you could make more yourself if you want to. Because their big the reason the big excuse of why they didn't give you more is because these are handmade and you know they're they're difficult to make and all that stuff. So it's unfortunate because if you had at least gotten three gimmicks, you could have done so many more routines. You know, you can't even do the routines that are on the video because you don't get enough. You don't get enough gimmicks to do them. So the overall, the product is not worth your 40 bucks. If I could go back, I would not buy this again, okay? And that's just my own final analysis. Um, I hope that you guys found this review helpful, and I welcome any kind of comments, positive or negative. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so that way you can see all of my magic reviews. Hopefully, this helps somebody out there to make an educated decision whether or not you really want to buy this. I'm going to tell you now, buyer beware, it's not worth the 40 bucks.